Hello, welcome again to Obscure Mics. I've got a very special episode for you today. I have really gotten into uh, throwing together broadcast dynamic microphones. Work in progress, but I took a BM900. I told you guys I would be bringing this video to you. A BM900 condenser microphone, cheap. This was like $10. You talk into the side of it like this, and it sounded like absolute garbage. So I'm looking at this microphone, and I'm like, you know what? I could make this an end address dynamic microphone with a little bit of experimentation. So I took what was, in my opinion, the best capsule from the uh, eBay capsule shootout I did. That video is just a few back from this one. And I stuck it into the BM900. Let's go through exactly what I did. Okay, so the first thing we did here was we took the BM900 and I took the guts completely out of this thing. So all I've got is pictures. I wasn't able to record this with one hand while doing this, but we took the guts out. We removed the circuit board. We removed the capsule. I took some parts from an old pile handheld microphone, mostly just the foam. And I did use one of the wires out of the pile microphone. And I wired the XLR into the dynamic capsule with a soldering iron. Very, very easy to do. And then I basically, uh, I ran the wires through the holes in the BM900's mounting bracket and just placed the dynamic capsule on top. I used some rubber bands. Yes, this is absolutely a rig job. I used some rubber bands to secure it uh, very secure, actually, almost shock mount like to the top of the condenser microphone. And then what I did was I reinforced the inside of the BM900 with some foam and I electrical used electrical tape to secure that foam inside. Also trying to stop any outside interference. So I thought maybe electrical tape will work. This is my first attempt at this kind of thing. Now, the capsule I used was very bad with plosives, so I took some foam out of the pile and I reinforced the top of the capsule with a second layer of foam to try to curb those plosives. And here you can see the finished product before I put it back together. Definitely looks awful, but upon using some parts, uh, I bought some sponge, electrical tape, and glue from the Dollar Tree of all places. So I'm calling this mic the Dollar Tree 900. <laughs> I, uh, I was able to foam every part of this thing and I actually used a uh, piece of mouse pad, oddly enough, on the head of the microphone to kind of deaden sound around the capsule. So instead of foaming inside of the head basket, I used a thick, rubbery like mouse pad and lined it with it and it, it done really really did a good job of canceling out some background noise so that being said here's what the mic looks like i painted the head basket black instead of gold and now we are going to switch to that microphone and test it out here we go okay so so here is the finished product this is the BM 900 converted into the Dollar Tree 900. Yes, the Dollar Tree 900. So this, you know, end fire now talking into the end of the microphone. This is the uh, $10 capsule from the capsule shootout. It was a little bit darker and smoother than the others. So I went with that. So here it is. The total cost of this build was roughly, it was $20, $22 total cost of this build 22 bucks so this is what the microphone sounds like no processing whatsoever peter piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple plosives peter piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple plosives now that this is a huge improvement over the plosives from the ebay capsule video they were awful let's go ahead and rotate the microphone to 90 degrees to see what the off-axis rejection sounds like 
180 degrees to see what the off-axis rejection sounds like. And back to this 90 degrees and back slowly to the front of the microphone. Okay, so again, I created this end address mic from a $10 capsule, $10 mic body, remove some guts, use some innovation, and here we go. Let's go ahead and throw some processing on this thing. But first, when you get right up on the Dollar Tree 900, this is what it sounds like. When you get right up on the Dollar Tree 900, this is what it sounds like. All right, processing coming at you. Okay, so this is a little bit of compression and a de-esser on my Rodecaster Pro. Just for the sake of knowing the level I currently have this, I've got it turned up to a 31 on the Rodecaster Pro. And this is compression, de-esser. Also got a high-pass filter on. Let's turn that off. Okay, this is without the high-pass filter. And this is what it sounds like. Let's turn the big bottom on even though it doesn't need it this is the dollar tree 900 with a big bottom so dollar tree 900 with a big bottom let's turn the big bottom off and now this is the dollar tree 900 with compression a de-esser and an oral exciter compression de-esser oil oil an oil it's an oil exciter oral exciter I get excited, like the exciter. Let's turn that back off. All right, so we're back to just compression and de -esser. And honestly, I, I think this is usable, considering it's a $22 build. And if you're shallow like me and you want that end address look, here we go, $22, decent capsule. I, I don't think it's wonderful by any means, but I think it is passable. I, I do think it's passable. And I'm pretty happy with the result of this Frankenstein microphone. So I, I encourage you to try and build your own microphone. Grab a capsule off eBay. Just try them out. They're all cheap. The most expensive one I have bought so far is 12 bucks, And I am pretty impressed with that one. And that is the next video coming at you is another mic build. $12 capsule in the Aokio. AK-60. And I'm pretty happy with that one. That one's coming next. So Dollar Tree 900. Uh, my final thoughts on it, kind of the same as uh, my thoughts on the capsule and a handheld microphone. Let's turn the processing off. The the it's a it's a very darkish and smooth capsule. And then when you add that compression back to it, the clarity jumps out a little bit and it's actually very very usable quite happy considering it's a 22 dollars microphone i can't sell it i guess i could somebody might buy it but it's one of those things i'll just keep around if i sell every mic in my arsenal i know that i've got this to throw onto a mic stand and record a little podcastage good name bandrew podcastage because i just used it in a totally different aspect i can record a podcast with this microphone and I wouldn't be too upset about the results. So Dollar Tree 900, I am offering to build them for a few people. If for some reason you want me to build you something like this, message me. We'll, we'll negotiate it and get it figured out. But I don't think many people are going to do that. Link in the description to the capsule. I'll try to find a cheap condenser uh, to link in the description as well if you want to create this thing. So... The BM900 or Dollar Tree 900, as we're calling it now, is out. Bark is out. Thanks for watching this crazy ass video. Scare Mics. Have a great day.